Hello. Hello, world music scholars. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a flower from St. Lucia. So you should have gotten three pieces of tissue paper in the mail. And what I've done is arranged it kind of like a sandwich with yellow on the outside and then a piece of white tissue paper in the middle and another yellow on the bottom. So what I'd like to do now is I'm gonna make a cut with my scissors right down the middle of the three pieces of tissue paper. So this way you can make two flowers. I'm gonna give one of the sets of tissue paper to my daughter, Alice. Here you go, Alice. And I'm gonna give Alice one of the pipe cleaners. I'm gonna keep the other one for me. Okay, so now I've got my tissue paper and I'm ready to start folding. So if you would remember maybe from when uh, you were younger, if you made a fan out of paper, we're gonna do a similar folding technique for our flowers. So we're going to fold down all three sheets. See, it's about maybe an inch of a fold down. Then I'm gonna flip my paper over and I'm gonna fold, make another fold just like that one. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna make another fold. I'm gonna fold it up. And you can tell if you're doing it right, if you've got multiple layers. So it should have like a, should make like a little zigzag. I'm gonna flip it over and fold again. Again, about an inch. I'm gonna flip it over. And again, you may wanna stop and check periodically to make sure you have your zigzag happening. I'm gonna flip it over again and make another fold. Flip. And I'm gonna keep going like this until the end of my tissue paper. Now by the end of this, you should be able to visibly see a pile of folds like that. From the side, it'll look like that. Now, I'm gonna have my assistant, Alice, fold the pipe cleaner in half. Thanks, Alice. And I'm gonna put that pipe cleaner aside for a second. Next, I'm gonna look at the top of one of the ends. And what I'm gonna do is cut a circle shape on the top. If it helps you, you could draw a circle shape. Can I draw a circle shape? Yes. Okay. So I kind of drew this circle shape on the top and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut it out so it's kind of like a curve at the top. And the point here is I want to make want to make the top rounded. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to make a rainbow, mama. I'm going to make a rainbow. 
Good. And then I'm going to cut it So out. again, I made a rounded top instead of square. Now, I'm going to take that pipe cleaner, fold it right in the middle here, and then I'm going to twist it at the bottom. And then I leave a little bit because maybe I want to hang my flower up somewhere. Now, the very last part is you're going to start with the first layer on top and very gently fan it out and very gently pull it up. So the, just the very top layer pulled up and now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to choose my very top layer of tissue paper and I'm going to pull that up. So at this, at this point, your flower should have one petal that's pulled up and the other are on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pull each individual layer up just like I did with the first. So here's the second layer. Remember the second layer is that white layer that was in the middle. So I'm gonna pull that up gently. Now don't pull too hard or else you're gonna rip your tissue paper up. You see that layer's been pulled up, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull up that white layer. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's all separate and coming up nice. So now it should look like this with two layers. And then to finish the flower, I'm gonna pull that final layer up over everything else. And then I'm gonna kind of shape it a little bit. And then I have my tissue paper flower. Say bye, Alice. Bye.